What's up YouTube, it's Adam from Miami Music Mogul, and today I want to address the problem with Logic's EXS24 sampler in Logic 9. Now the problem doesn't lie with the original release of Logic, it lies with the upgrade in 9.01. Now let me show you what the problem is in the EXS sampler. Alright, so I'm going to bring on my EXS sampler here. Now, before what people would do to create their own instruments, they would open up the edit window, and they would just drag in their samples like this. I'm just going to close this for a second. Then they would just drag in their samples like this. And that worked in Logic Pro 9 and everything was fine and dandy. But now in Logic Pro 9.01 upgrade, it does this. It stretches your sample across the whole keyboard. Now that that's not a good thing. Now the fix is this. I went online to the Apple forums and I found a guy's fix that works pretty quickly and easily as it did in Logic Pro 9, and the guy's name is Desi, so if you ever see him on the Apple forums, he's credible, he knows what he's doing, and I got this fix from him, so thank you Desi. And now I'm showing it to you guys. So here's the fix. Select the samples that you want to bring into your sampler. Now, you can only open it and drag it in from a finder window. You can't open it through the actual sampler itself, it has to be through the external window, the finder window, locate your samples and then drag it in. So I'm dragging it in from the finder window from where I have it saved and I'm going to go down here, instead of dragging up to here, I'm going to drag it into the keys area. So let's say I want to put this on C3. This window pops up, click this one, contingent zones starting at the key that the file was dropped on, zone width 1 is fine, and click OK. And now, instead of being stretched across the whole keyboard, now we are left with what we want just placed on the key counting up all right so i'm just going to drag in another set of samples just so i can show you that you could keep adding more samples in drag it in from my finder window i'm going to bring it to c5 sharp contingent zone starting at the key the file was dropped on and then it counts up again which is what we want and then just like before you can just go instrument save and I already saved it before, YouTube tutorial. What you would get is this window. And then you could just type in what you want to save it as. So I'll just save it as again, YouTube tutorial. And hit save. And now you have officially saved that instrument. And now you can play it and go ahead and make some music. All right, guys, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys learned something. Now, this is only for the 9.01 Logic update. It's not for the Logic 9. It's not for Logic 8 because those two versions, it works. It's just the 9.01 update. Hopefully Apple gets it right on the 9.02 update or their next update, and they fix this problem so we don't have to drag it in as I showed you. That's it for now. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. I will post more videos. Keep checking back for more. Thanks. Bye. Class is now out of session.